Hi everyone, how you doing? Coin is Chris uh, and today I am back on the River Spey in a very windy, blustery, rainy, awful kind of day. Um, today I'm fishing at Castle, uh, Castle Water on the Gordon Castle Estate. I came here and did my first ever video here, I think, um, way back in March 2022. Uh, so it's really good to be back here. It's great to meet up with the gilly David again, uh, who helped me tremendously with all my casting and everything. So it's great to be here. So thanks very much for uh, tuning into this video. Please know if you're new here, I record videos whether or not I catch a fish. For me, it's all about the experience, getting out there in the amazing countryside and sometimes the weather and uh, just really enjoying the whole process of going fishing. Uh, if you're new, please uh, don't forget to subscribe and to everybody watching, please give us a nice massive thumbs up. And of course, if you've got any comments, feedback or advice uh, for me uh, on my fishing adventure, please drop it in the comment section below. And I look forward uh, to reading them and responding to them as soon as I can. So thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. And I hope you enjoy this video. Proper job. Good morning everyone, Cornish Chris, back here on Gordon Castle, uh, on the Castle Water Beat, my friend David, uh, the uh, Gilly Stroke Casting Instructor that uh, helped me out tremendously, roughly the same time in March last year when I started my this crazy salmon fishing adventure today we've got a very strong uh, downstream uh, wind um, yeah really really quite quite tough wind and so I have been using this as an opportunity to practice casting off my left shoulder um, because it's just simply something I haven't done maybe like once or twice so yeah it's just uh, uh, doing that really um, it's great to be back here uh, great to speak meet David again uh, chat about his season so far no catches as yet uh, for Gordon Castle. Yeah. So, no comments, please, about the quality of the uh, the casting today. This is a very much a work in progress on my left hand. Uh, I feel like an absolute beginner. But uh, David's given, given me some, I said it's, it's just like, this is like deja vu for when I started it, you know. Um, when I started fishing all that time ago. 
Uh, so, uh, you know, it, it's coming on. I, I am getting the line out, but uh, it's not anywhere near, you know, my sort of preferred right shoulder uh, casting. But nevertheless, it's something that uh, I want to try to, per uh, you know, persevere with and get it right. Other than that, it's quite a beautiful day. Lovely and sun, lovely sunshine. It's about it's about eight degrees at the moment. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's lovely to be out here. I'm fishing with a DI3 line at the moment, so like an intermediate line. Uh, so fishing quite deep and then I'll probably swap over to a uh, full float line later to kind of increase the height. Shakespeare Oracle Scandi rod again, 14 foot 9, 10 weight. Uh, what we got here again? Oh, a Scientific Angler 12, 13 reel. Uh, this has been lent to me by Russ because of the breakage I had at... Um, At uh, oh, when did it break? Oh, at Tolkien. So I've got this uh, this reel from him. So I'll just I'm going to keep this line on. Basically, just use this to fish out my the next few days, and then I'm going to get an oh, I'm going to get another I'm going to get another one similar to this pit maybe. Quite like the uh, the look of the scientific angler kind of setup actually yeah I'm quite quite happy with how that line is going out Theo is out with me today stay again which is great I think what I'm going to do from now on is book try to book beats which say uh, which are dog friendly because it's great having them out with me so he's just there <laughs> hasn't been in yet I don't think I think he would like to come in but uh, maybe he's starting to learn. I want him to stay on the on the bank. It'd probably be a different story if I was um, out any further. Now we'll see how he feels once I go around this boat. Oh, this wind! Oh, blimey! Not the worst I've ever fished in. Really quiet, really quiet here on the uh, on the Spay in general. Not many people fishing. It's uh, quite surprising, really. I kind of would have thought there would be more people. So I have, or we have, moved down now. Stay. Stay! I don't want Theo coming out with me in this, but he's been very good today. Much better than he was yesterday, actually. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's a good boy. I've got to be really careful with what I say like commands and stuff because if I say get out it normally means you know obviously get out but get out and, and, and hunt for stuff so he seems to be responding really well to stay and all that uh, yeah so I am fishing now on I think I'm just oopsie got the camera wrapped up huh. I'm just uh, coming close to this is called the slabs
I'm uh, about knee deep. It's uh, the wavings. I dare I say the waving is easy, because then I'll probably trip over, won't I? The wind is uh, extremely strong today. But a little bit easier, I think, to, uh, to cast uh, down here where I am. You know? I wonder what this was. Kind of just hit me on the back, touched me on the back of the legs. What the hell's going on here? I understand this wind should be dropping uh, in the next in the next few hours at least dare I say it, at least it's not rain and the wind because that would be awful <laughs> that would be a kind of I'm going to go and sit back in the car or sit down in the hut for a bit did have a bit of rain this morning So I ought to tell you more about uh, an event I've got coming up in the uh, next uh, few months. I'm taking part in the River D 24 hour challenge. The River D up here in Scotland, like many rivers up and down the country, uh, suffers from habitat depletion, bank erosion, and general sort of uh, conservation issues. And so I've taken a place, I've signed up for the River D24. It's a 24 hour marathon fishing event in aid of charity. I'll be fishing tw for 24 hours straight uh, on a variety of different uh, fisheries on, on the River D. Um, my target is to raise 500 pounds of sponsorship and if you would like to uh, sponsor me uh, and my team in, uh, in that, I'm going to put a link to the, our Just Giving page which will be in the description of this video. I think it would be uh, really amazing if you could just uh, donate any amount of money, uh, that would be great. Out. Theo, out! Get out! Sorry about this. Get out! Out! Theo, back! That's not it. Come on, get out! I don't want you in here with me. Come on, out! Get out, out, out! Good boy, good boy, out! Out! <sighs> Right. All right, so that was the slabs fished. You know, earlier on in the video, I said, at least it's not raining. <laughs> well, now it's raining. Brilliant. I'm gonna go back and just change a little bit.
Like this. <laughs> it's getting wilder. I just didn't think it would get much worse than this, but it is. Yeah. Well, phew, thank goodness for that. Well, that's it. Um, the, a very windy, blustery day. Uh, some gale force winds, I think. Uh, we had horizontal rain. Uh, fantastic. Absolutely what I just love. Getting out in the, in the great fresh air, uh, experiencing this amazing countryside. And um, one of the reasons why I'm recording this video in the car is because I just tried to do it outside um and it's just like blowing a gale so thanks very much everybody for your support thanks for uh, uh watching this video if you enjoyed it please give us a big thumbs up and likewise don't forget to subscribe for more amazing salmon fishing videos from my adventure thanks very much and i'll take i'll see you soon take care